Good afternoon. The myth that the Athene Bird Society is perpetuating is the myth that there's a single Greek text, I don't know why, that perfectly represents the King James Bible. And that's not true. In uh, the work the King James Version defended, Hills points out that because of the eclectic nature of the King James Bible, the, uh, it ought to be considered an independent variety of the Textus Receptus and page 220. And that's what it is. There's no Textus Receptus edition out there that perfectly represents the King James Bible. So if you go into the Greek of the King James, of the uh, Greek, you're going to have to make changes and uh, ignore the you know, King James Bible says for the uh, for the Greek. The uh, myth comes from the idea that uh, it comes from here, and this is an individual involved in the uh, West Cotton Hort revised edition, and his task was to translate the uh, New Testament back, the New Testament King James Bible back into Greek, and. Uh, it says some valuable things because it shows the, uh, the changes in the West Cotton Horn text. But he himself made editorial decisions here and when he translated it back into Greek. And um, this is not a perfect representation of the Greek of the uh, King James Bible. The fact of the matter is, is that there's, and even uh, we admits that in his work, the Doctrine New Testament, uh, that uh, should have made changes. So uh, if you're reading the Greek of that, of uh, uh, the work or the uh, Trinitarian Bible Society, which is rebuilt, which is really based on Shrivna and not on uh, Jesus' additional as it claims, uh, you'll see here, he says here, uh, the appendix is from my Shrivna's work here, uh, has the, uh, contains a list of that 162 places where the King James Version appears to vary from the 1598 edition of Jesus' Greek New Testament. It also contains a list of about 59 places where the King James Version is based on the Latin Vulgate and not on any known Greek authority. And he has a footnote here. In those Greek, uh, those King James Version portions with no known Greek support, Shrivna, he says a, great, a man of great uh, textual integrity. And that's a matter of opinion, since he was involved in the Revised Standard Version and the corrupting God's word. Let the readings of Bees' 1598 Greek New Testament stand. He refused to backwards translate from Latin to Greek. So if he made a decision that since these books didn't show up in any Greek uh, edition, that therefore the translators were using Latin instead of Greek, which is an assumption on his part. He doesn't know what manuscripts these, uh, the uh, actual uh, the translators had access to. Moreover, given it was translated from Latin, he wouldn't make it wrong. The fact of the matter is, is that the old Latin is often a very good representation of the Greek. But he made those changes. Now, if you want an example of those changes, uh, one change is go to uh, Matthew 12, 24, where you'll have the uh, King James translators translated uh, Beelzebub. And it's constantly through here. And the modern versions have uh, Beelzebub instead of Beelzebub. And that's how the uh, Greek reads in the uh, in, in Shrivna's work, in Shrivna's work, that's exactly Greek uh, work, uh, that's how the Greek will show up, the transliteration of the Greek, and uh, if you go to the New King James Version where they have a footnote there, and new text and M text, we be eligible, and so if you're reading uh, the uh, King James, the uh, Greek, you'd have to correct the King James Bible, let see, make sure that the uh, Matthew 12. Yeah, Beelzebub. Okay. Same thing here in the uh, Trinitarian Bible Society. So, he has a difference there. And then uh, he appendix there, he has is it 52 places. So, the, the great lie that... Um, Weight and Dean Berger decided trying to tell about push is that there that you can read uh, a Greek edition and uh, know exactly what the King James Bible is saying in Greek. You can't. There's no single edition out there that that has it. So when you read the King James Bible, you're in fact reading an, uh, a unique, uh, different uh, uh, text of Eusebius. It is it is as as uh, as Hillis points out, it is his own text of Zephyrus. And that's why it can be translated directly from the English 
into other languages because God preserved the exact readings he wanted from all the different Texas Receptus editions, all the various issues of Latin and different languages into the King James Bible. And therefore, it is its own, te it is its own received text, its own variation, its own uh, peculiar uh, uh, receptive, uh, receptus uh, edition. So when these guys get up there with weight and those people are telling you that uh, we need to go to the Greek, what they're telling you is that you can't trust your King James Bible. And that with the Greek, with the Greek differs from the King James Bible, they're going to trust the Greek and not the King James Bible. So uh, these guys, uh, their final authority is a uh, uh, corrupt Greek text, Shrivna, whether it be Shrivna, whether it be a text, the, uh, uh, whether it be, uh, the uh, Trinity Grand Bible Society, corrupt in the sense that they corrected the King James Bible. And uh, now these things are pretty just squared away in the sense that they follow Texas Receptors. And as, that, as far as that goes, that's their pure, pure uh, editions. But where they correct the King James Bible, they're an error. And therefore, when you make a decision, when you're looking at a Greek text, you're going to have to decide against the King James Bible. You're going to say, well, is Beelzebub correct? Beelzebub. And uh, you have to say, well, you know, no matter what the Greek says, the, uh, the King James Bible has it correct. So uh, God is done with these. He's got the Deceptus now in English. So he doesn't need this anymore. That's what these guys don't want to get through the head. He's got a receptive, he's got a perfect received text in English. In English. He doesn't need that anymore. He collected everything he needed to do with translators, collected that, all the, from every, various languages and from the old Latin and from the Greek. Got everything he needed from exactly what, every, what God wanted into one, into one, into one English edition, uh, the uh, 1611. And so this is now, this is now the received text, not the Greek and Hebrew uh, that God is now, is now done with, he's done with them. Uh, he's got the completed uh, work in a new language, in, in English. And uh, that's the, uh, there's no Hebrew or Greek that perfectly represents the King James Bible. So if you're reading the Greek and Hebrew and you come across uh, a difference, you're going to have to say which one's right. Is it the King James Bible or is it the Greek text you're reading? And if you choose for the Greek text, you're going to actually choose for the modern versions who often have the same readings in them. Uh, what it might be the New King James, it might be uh, New American, in this case, New American Standard, these are NIVs. But whoever it is, you're going to have to go against the King James Bible. And if you do, you're going against God's Word, perfect Word in English. Amen. Thank you.